G'day everyone and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today's video we're going to go through each reserve and each of the animals in the reserve and go through exactly what each score is required per animal to be a diamond. Hopefully this will help you see a bit more clearly as to what animals are diamond potential, what animals are diamond and you know just to roughly gauge the size of each animal. So as always if you do enjoy the video and you do find it helpful please consider liking and subscribing. I post videos at least once a week and it would really help grow the channel. We're going quite well at the moment, really having a lot of fun with it. Please leave a comment down below if you've got any suggestions or anything to say. And let's get straight into it. Alright, so we're starting off on Hirschfelden here. First up, we've got the Canada Goose. They are a class 1 animal. Their fur types are brown hybrid, grey hybrid, light grey, melanistic, common and bold leucistic. Their diamond score is 8.5. Next up we've got the European Rabbit. These guys are also a class 1 animal. Their fur types come in albino, brown, common, leucistic, light grey and melanistic. Their diamond trophy score required is 2.40. The Red Fox is up next. This elusive predator is a class 2 animal. His fur types come in albino, common, melanistic, and piebald, and the requirement for diamond is 14.1. The roe deer. This tiny little guy is a class 3 animal. Their fur types are albino, piebald, common, and melanistic, and the requirement for diamond is 81.8. .8. One of my favorite animals in the game now, the fallow deer. They are a class 4 animal. Their fur types come in albino, piebald, common, and melanistic, and the requirement for diamond on this one is 251.7. Next up is the wild boar. This one is a class 4 animal and its fur types come in albino, melanistic, common and black gold. The requirement for diamond on this one is 144.2. One of the biggest racked animals in the game is up next. This animal, the red deer, is a class 6 animal. Its fur types come in albino, piebald, common and melanistic. The requirement for diamond is 251.60. Last but not least for Hirschfelden is this absolute monster, the European Bison. This one here is a class 9 animal. Its fur types are albino, piebald, common and melanistic and the requirement for diamond is a whopping 270.4. Okay so we're done with Hirschfeld now, now we're moving on to Leighton Lakes, one of my favourite maps. First up is the white-tailed jackrabbit. This guy is only a class 1. Its fur types come in heaps. They are albino, grey, common, light brown, brown and melanistic. And the score for diamond on this one is 6.3. Next up we've got the mallard. This one is a class 1 animal. Their fur types come in leucistic, common. Both male and female have different common fur types. Piebald, melanistic, brown hybrid and blonde. The diamond requirement is one of the biggest ones for the small animals, 19.6. Now for the predator of Leighton, the coyote. This guy is a class 2 animal. Their fur types come in albino, common, melanistic and piebald and the diamond requirement for this is 56.8. I love hunting these guys, the black tailed deer. These guys are a class 4 animal. Their fur types are albino, piebald, common and melanistic. And the diamond requirement for these guys is 177.50. I'll be going for a diamond one of these ones soon, the white-tailed deer. This one is a class 4 animal as well. Its fur types are albino, piebald, common and melanistic. And the trophy score for this one to be diamond is 255. Now we're on to the monsters, the black bear. This guy's a class 7 animal. The fur types for this one is brown, blonde, common and cinnamon. The diamond score for this is 22.8. Next up we've got the Roosevelt Elk. This one is a big class 8 animal. The fur types for this is albino, piebald, common and melanistic. And the diamond score for this one has to be 380.8. Finally, for Leighton and many other maps as you will know, the Moose. This guy again is a class 8 animal. And the fur types for this one is albino, piebald, common and melanistic. The diamond score for this needs to be 274.9. Okay, moving on to Medved Tiger. This is probably one of the more unpopular maps of the game, but it does have some okay animals on there. First up is the Siberian Musk Deer. This is a class 2 animal, 
and the fangs are the trophy type for this one. Its fur types are common, piebald, melanistic, and albino. And the trophy score required for diamond is 249. This guy is probably the star of the map, the Eurasian Lynx. This guy is a class three animal. The fur types are common, piebald, melanistic, and albino. And the trophy score for the animal is 27.7. We got the wild boar again on this map. Once again, class four animal and the diamond requirement for this is 144.2. We got Santa's best friend now, the reindeer. It's a class six animal. The fur types for this is albino, common, piebald, melanistic, and leucistic. And the trophy score for this animal is 430.2. Now the aggressive one of the map, the brown bear. This guy is a class seven animal. The fur types, there's heaps for this one. Albino, spirit, which is my favorite. Cinnamon, light brown, red brown, gold, gray, melanistic, blonde, and dark brown. The diamond requirement for this is 27.7. We're gonna be seeing this guy a lot. We've got the moose again. Once again, it is a class eight animal and the trophy score for diamond is 274.9. All right, moving on to possibly my favorite map in the whole game, the Honga Savannah. We have the scrub hair up first. This little guy is a class one animal. Its fur types are albino, gray, light gray, chestnut, brown, and melanistic. And the trophy score for this one is 5.1 to be diamond. Probably the least hunted animal on this map is the side striped jackal. Still quite fun though, and they provide a hell of a lot of money if you're looking for some. This is a class two animal. Its fur types are albino, common, melanistic, and gray. The requirement for diamond for this guy is 29.1. All right, the jumping jack, the springbok. This guy is a class three animal. Its fur types are albino, common, black brown, and dark brown. The trophy score that's needed for diamond is 110.7. Now we've got the Warthog. This guy is a class four animal. The fur types for this guy is albino, gray, common, red, brown, and red. And the trophy score for diamond is 58.2. Now we've got the Lesser Kudu. This guy is a class four animal. The fur types for this one is albino, gray, common, dark brown, dusky, melanistic, and red brown. The trophy score for this one is 32.2. Blue Wildebeest, this guy's a class six animal. The fur types for this one is albino, gold, common, and crowned. Trophy score is 37.7 for diamond. One of my favorites, the Gemsbok. This guy is a class eight animal. The fur types for this one is dark, common, beige, gray, and gold. And the trophy score for diamond is a minimum of 337.5. You're more likely to find female diamonds, but the elusive male is out there. My nemesis, the Cape Buffalo. This guy is a class nine animal. The fur types for this one is black, gray, brown, albino, and leucistic. And the trophy score required for diamond is 151. Last for Vahonga, possibly everyone's favorite animal, the lion. This guy is a class nine animal. The fur types for this is common albino, which is my dream animal dark brown and blonde. The trophy score required for diamond is 48.5. Just changed my microphone settings, so hopefully I'm a bit clearer for you guys now, but we're moving over to Parquet Fernando. First up, we've got the Cinnamon Teal. This guy's a class one animal. The fur types come in beige, common, different for male and females, melanistic, piebald, and red. And the trophy score required for diamond on these guys is 4.6. Next up, we've got the black buck. This guy is a class three animal. The fur types come in melanistic, black, leucistic, brown, and dark. And to be diamond, this guy needs a trophy score of 132.2. Now I've got the axis steer. This guy's a class three animal as well. The fur types for this is albino, common, dark, melanistic, orange and piebald and the trophy score required to be diamond is 217.2 next we've got this annoying guy this he is a class 5 animal the fur types for this one is albino common dark red gray and melanistic and the trophy score required to be diamond is 39 all right we've got the mule deer now this guy is a class six animal. The fur types are melanistic, common, dilute, albino, gray, blonde, and piebald. And the trophy score is 314.8. 
Now I've just got the red deer again. Once again, he's a class six animal and the trophy score to be diamond is 251.60. Last one for Parque Fernando. These guys look amazing. We've got the water buffalo. He's a big class nine animal. The fur types he comes in is black, orange, common, brown, and albino. And the trophy score to be diamond is 167.5. We're on our third last map now. Quattro Colinas. First up, we've got the European Hare. This guy's a class one animal, and its fur types come in only three, common, albino, and melanistic. And the trophy score for it to be diamond is 6.5. We have the little roe deer again now. Once again, class three animal, and the trophy score for it to be diamond is 81.8. Love these, we've got the Iberian Mouflon. This guy is a class four animal. Fur types come in albino, common, gray, and melanistic, and the diamond score is 179.6. On to the first of many of the Ibexes, the Ronda Ibex. This one is a class four animal. The fur types come in albino, common, and melanistic, and the trophy score for this one is 107.9. Now we're on to the Basiti Ibex. This is a class four animal as well. Fur types come in albino, common, and melanistic. And the trophy score for it to be diamond is a whopping 191.60. And now we got the Grados Ibex. This one is a class four animal. The fur types come once again in albino, common, and melanistic. Trophy score has to be 100.1 for it to be a diamond. Last of the Ibex, we've got a Southeastern Spanish Ibex. This one is once again a class four animal. Fur types, albino, common and melanistic. And the trophy score requirement for it to be a diamond is 89.6. Third time's a charm, we got the wild boar again. Class four animal, diamond score 144.2. Very dangerous guy here, the Iberian wolf. He's a class five animal. Fur types come in albino, common, phantasma, gray, melanistic, ogro, olive, Sombra, Pristine, and Winter. The trophy score for this to be diamond is 39. And once again, the Red Deer. This guy's a class six animal, and the trophy score for it to be a diamond is 251.6. We're headed off to Silver Ridge Peaks now. First up, we got the Turkey. Class one animal, fur types are Albino, Common, Gray, Leucistic, Light Brown, and Melanistic. And the trophy score for it to reach diamond is 4.6. All right, we've got the pronghorn antelope. This guy is a class four animal. Fur types are albino, common, dark, piebald, and leucistic. And the trophy score for it to reach diamond is 98. Big billy goats. Mountain goats are a class four animal. Their fur types are beige, common, light brown, melanistic, white, and albino. And the trophy score for diamond is 107. One of my absolute favorites, the big horn sheep. Got a massive diamond in this video right here. Anyway, it's a class four animal. Fur types are albino, black, brown, common, dark brown, and gray. And the trophy score for it to be diamond is 164.6. Next, we've got the mountain lion, and we're using the puma on screen because the codex doesn't have the mountain lion, but it's the exact same thing. It's a class five animal. The fur types it comes in is also albino, common, dark red, gray, and melanistic. And alongside the puma, the mountain lion has a diamond score of 39. We've got the mule deer again. It is a class six animal with a trophy score to be diamond of 314.8. Eight. We got the black bear, class seven animal. Once again, 22.8 for it to be a diamond. This one's the best of the elk in my opinion. He's a class eight animal with fur types of albino, brown, common, light gray, piebald, and melanistic with a trophy score of 481.4 to be a diamond. And last but not least, we've got the Plains Bison. Absolute monster at class nine. Its fur types are common, albino, leucistic, and melanistic. And the diamond score is 221.1. We're headed over to New Zealand with the Te Awaroa National Park being the latest one released. I definitely recommend picking it up. Anyway, we've got Turkey again. It's a class one animal with a diamond score of 4.6. We have the European rabbit, class one animal, albino, brown, common, leucistic, light gray, and melanistic. And the trophy score needs to be 2.40 for it to reach a diamond. Okay, we have the chamois. This guy is a level three with the fur types of albino, brown, dark brown, gray brown, honey tones, leucistic, and melanistic. 
with a trophy score requirement of 58 to reach diamond. All right, we have the feral goat. These guys are only a class three. It's fur types, plenty of them come in black, black brown, black white, blonde, brown, dark brown, white, white brown, mixed, and albino. The trophy score for it to be a diamond is 208.70. Next up, we have the sick deer. This guy is a class four animal. Fur types are albino, black, brown, dark spotted, red spotted, and spotted. And the trophy score for it to be a diamond is 198.7. We have the fallow deer, of course. Class four animal with a trophy score once again of 251.7. Possibly the best looking animal on this map, no joke, is the feral pig. He's a class four animal with fur types of black gold, black spots, brown, brown hybrid, dark brown, pink, and albino. The trophy score for it to be a diamond is 144.2. And you guessed it, we've got the red deer once again. Class six animal with a trophy score requirement of 251.60 to be a diamond. And my bad, I completely forgot about Yukon, so that's where we're headed right now for our last reserve of this video. We've got the Harlequin Duck. It is a class one animal with fur types of common, dark, piebald, gray, albino, and melanistic. And a trophy score of 7.2 is required to reach diamond. We have the Red Fox again, class two animal with a trophy score of 14.1 to be a diamond. We have another aggressive wolf, the gray wolf. It's a class five animal with fur types of melanistic, common, red, brown, egg white, and albino. Got these cool looking guys, the caribou. It's a class six animal with fur types of melanistic, common, piebald, albino, and leucistic with a trophy score of 430.2 to be a diamond. These guys look amazing. We've got the grizzly bear. This one is a class seven animal with fur types of common, melanistic, brown, and albino. A trophy score of 67 is a requirement to be a diamond. We have the moose again, class eight animal with a trophy score requirement of 274.9. And finally, the last animal of this reserve and of this video, we have the huge class nine animal, the plains bison with a trophy score requirement of 221 to become, you guessed it, a diamond quite there yet and you're wondering how you can get the trophy ratings come up in that top right corner there as you can see this one here is a trophy rating of 122 to 144 all you have to do is you have to come into your skill tree and it's under the ambusher skill tree under spotting knowledge after level two there you can see it reveals information about the approximate trophy rating and weight of the animal this is the one you want because it allows you to see it's roughly 102 to 950 kilos with a trophy rating of 122 to 144. So yeah, that's where you can use it and be like, okay, Kate Buffalo needs a diamond score of 151.4. Obviously this isn't a diamond because it's only a level seven, but you can gauge that, okay, you know, 122 to 144, not near 151, it's not going to be a diamond. Whereas if you see a level 9 over there, it might have an estimate of 148 to 159 or something like that. You can gauge, okay, he has a pretty good chance of being a diamond, and that's one you definitely want to take down. So on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helped, and I really appreciate you tuning in. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I post videos at least once a week and I've got some really cool hunts coming up so you definitely won't want to miss that. Until next time, keep safe and I'll see you all in the next video.